Hey, I'm gonna make a quick video showing you how a groove lock spacer on a piston works. So a, what a groove lock spacer is, is it's a little spacer to fill in the gap of the oil control ring land when we lower the oil control ring down into the uh, pinhole of the piston. Now the reason why we do that is uh, certain designs of pistons, like this is a factory piston for the same application and here's a forged turbo piston. Um, you can see the factory piston, the ring lands are really, really thin and really short. And that's fine for an, like a naturally aspirated application, but on a turbo piston, we really want as much ring land thickness as we can so it can handle a bunch of heat and, and detonation and whatever. Um, so now on this piston, if we were going to put the oil control ring in here, um, the gap on the lower oil control ring can end up getting uh, caught in this open space here. So we need to put a little spacer underneath of it. So that spacer is called a groove lock spacer. So this one from Wysco comes with a little instruction sheet, but it's kind of like a big thick piston ring. But uh, you can see that um, if I let it go, the gap actually closes. This is actually gonna be like sucked uh, in around the outside of the piston instead of pushing out like a normal piston ring would do. And so this groove lock spacer, it's got a little raised bump on it right there. So that little bump is meant to sit somewhere inside of this gap here and it prevents this from from uh, rotating and ending up with the gap in the open space here. So uh, they're kind of a little difficult to get on. It's, you know, you install it kind of like a piston ring, but uh, there's almost too much tension on it to be able to like spread the gap apart. So what you kind of have to do, you want to start it so that you can get your nub in the opening there and you kind of have to start it at one end and walk it around and it's flexible so you won't damage it but you kind of have to walk it around the piston rather than the way you'd normally install a, a piston ring and now when you get to the end here if I just force this down here, the end of this is gonna scratch the piston. So what I like to do, I like to take a piece of paper or a rolled out piece of cardboard or something like that and stick it underneath of there. And now, now I can force it down over the end. There we go. Without scratching the piston. Sorry, it's hard to show. It kind of takes a little bit of finger pressure there. And then I can just pull that piece of paper out of there. So I, let's see, where's my little nub here? There, I missed the nub just a little bit. So now I'm gonna take a screwdriver and be careful that I don't pry on the piston. There we go. And now I've got the the uh, nub in the opening there. So now um, we can actually slide the the groove lock spacer all the way to the top. And if the, if the piston is designed properly for this, there'll still be room enough that you can get your wrist pin through. So now at this point, you would put your connecting rod on the piston and put your lock rings in, and then you can slide this to the bottom of the groove and you can see, oh, maybe you can't see, but uh, now that it's like sucking its, suck, or sucked around the piston, the uh, gap is open now. So then you can just, you can take your uh, standard oil control ring And now that we've got the spacer in there, the three-piece oil control ring just installs like normal. There you go. So that's all there is to that. Thanks.